Hi, it's uh, Bob from Lapbook at Lapcom 2023, and I'm here with Laurie from Trolls Bottom Mead. Hi, Laurie. Hello. Hi. And I think we're going to try some of your mead. Dis- right. Yeah. Well, we'll start you off with our Winch's mead, which is our standard mead. Okay. Uh, we sell more of this than anything else. The lady on the front of the bottle is our head barmaid. Okay, then. Brilliant. So this is Wench's mead, and let's give it a shot. Right, this is a standard mead. Mm-hmm. Um, people say a traditional mead, but traditional's relative to your village. Oh, yeah. Because the next village has got a different tradition. Yeah. Yeah, because they have different ingredients. Oh, that's, mm. that's nice and warming and really sweet. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, dark, dark age uh, energy drink. Yeah, absolutely yeah. it is, yeah. Well, you used to drink it for a month after you got married f- yeah. for full moon keep your energy up. It would do that. Yeah, it's a fertility drink. Okay. That's cool. So what have we got in this This, one? this one's heather. This is a drier mead okay. using Yorkshire heather honey. Yorkshire heather honey, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot clearer. It's a lot... Yes, it's, yeah. a, it's a lot drier. Mm. Uh, we, we, sometimes you find that mead's quite heavy and cloying. So we thought we'd go for something a bit more refreshing. Oh, that is actually that refreshing. You got the you got the one there. The, that's really refreshing. Yeah. There, yeah, that's quite he- much heavier and sweeter. That's really, oh, that's a, that's a real sort of oh, that's drinking drink that on a summer's day, and that would be really absolutely refreshing. yeah. The next one is another plain one, which okay. is our, a new one, which is a summer mead. Okay then. Uh, some of this, some of that. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> that kind of mead, love it. It is yes. Um, okay. Then, so then we've got. Looks a little bit like the, like the heavy mead, but this is summer mead now. This is summer mead, yeah. This is um, using Welsh honey. Okay. That's the Welsh honey, folks. From the Wye Valley, and it's made by uh, the Wye Valley Meadery. For you guys from Wye Valley Meadery, they, yeah. they do some, they're really good. And they are very really good. Nice stuff. Yeah, we, we, um, we find people that can make it better than us, <laughs> and then we let them make it. That's fair, they are good. Well, that's quite different. It's not as light and refreshing, but it's... Of that one, yeah, nowhere near as heavy and sweet to them, but it's cool. Oh, actually, that's this actually, is this is why we don't have one mead f- suits all. No, this is right. a, it's, it's quite more of a show, actually. <laughs> I'll try you on this one. We've okay. put this one into the Great Taste Award, okay. Then, uh, with our meads, uh, the Heather, which yep. you tasted, got a one star at the Great Taste, okay. Out of thir- uh, so that puts it in the top eight percent out of 13,000 entrants. That's great. Uh, we got a two star for a plum, which we haven't got with us because it's not ready. Yeah. Uh, and we've put this in for this year. This is our mead we're putting in for this year, which is the blackberry mead. It's a blackberry mead. It's a little bit darker. Yeah. We uh, we cheated. We took the wenches and soaked uh, soaked soaked, 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 blackberry. soaked soaked blackberries with it. And the best bit is, when we take the blackberries off, I get to eat the blackberries. It does, and that is actually. I can taste that sweetness coming through from where the wenches came from, but it's not quite the same. It's no. No, well, it changes it because obviously, yeah. And every every batch is going to be different because, yeah, yeah. if you've got a, a wet summer or a dry summer, it changes what your fruit's going to taste like and how much we're going to get out of it. True, yeah. This one is a dry cherry. Okay, that's going to be different. Using um, Morella cherry skins. Mar- Morella cherry skins, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, and we have these made for us at a thousand liters at a time. Thousand meters, yes. It weren't batches of a thousand. And yeah. these came out in 2019 and 2020. Yeah. <laughs> the world shut. Oh, didn't it? Yes. Yeah. So it's um, <laughs> three years old this year. Oh, Five, three years old, and that is. Ooh. Yeah, that's nice actually. That's different. Again, I'm, I'm loving the fact that the, the, the range of taste here is enormous. Yeah. So well, f- yeah. You need me to go with what yeah. you're doing. Yeah. yeah. If you're sitting around, sitting around a campfire with your mates, it's this one. Yes. Yeah. If you're having a meal, it's that one. That one. Yeah. Um, it's all. Yeah. Ha- and the cherry is really coming through now. Isn't it? Right. One. This one is another cherry one. Okay. We haven't got the che- sweet cherry with us because a certain person won't let me bring it out unless she's absolutely perfectly happy with it. Okay then. Uh, and she wasn't. Right. So it's so, got to be perfect. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. She. Uh, this one's cherry and cinnamon, and unfortunately, mm. the cherry at the cinnamon, it's more cherry than syrup more cinnamon. cinnamon. Again, we've got a really different colour. That's almost a rosé yep. colour. Actually, I, I, yeah, that's, that's more che- it, it's really strong on the cherry, isn't it? 
Yeah, it's really strong with the cherry, and that's... That's the drawback when you're using yeah. natural ingredients. Yeah, they not quite sure. For each batch, comes, it tastes different. Yeah. yeah. OK, that's, that's fantastic. Thank you. Right, that's OK. That's OK. Yeah, so I, I, I just got to do a quick thing with the camera, because uh, that's yeah. what we're doing. But uh, wow, that is fantastic. That's all right. Is there anything else you'd like to try? There's more. Oh, well, we have gins, rums, and vodkas. I'll stick with the mead just now. I've That's got a, fair a, enough. But we might be coming back when I'm recovering. Yep. OK, so this is Rob for our book, and I've just hopefully just been listening in our, on our little tasting session. And yeah, please come and try some of these meads yourself. Come buy some of these meads. They, they're really good. So this is Rob for our book at Labcom with Trolls Bottom Mead on his way to getting slightly hammered by the end of the day. <laughs>